Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today at my shop I have a very special day. Wow. It's this YouTube channel's subscriber who, reading the comments and watching the videos, actually realized that I'm in his area and finally brought his Tacoma to my shop. And this Taco seems to be pretty happy. He does some of his own maintenance watching this channel and maybe others but it came with a problem he went for the oil change to those oil stops or whatever those fast places and they completely stripped his transfer case filler bolt you know how that filler bolt and the drain bolt supposed to look like correct there is that crush washer aluminum and this is the one which was on the bottom so that was okay somehow these people destroyed the filler one and it came with this little monster well the thread in the hole it's completely destroyed too let me zoom on it there's basically a whole front that beginning it's all stripped and the hole is large and if you look on the detail there are still remaining I believe I counted two threads at the very end why this is the reason that crush washer takes some space so when the bolt the plug goes in it's actually not going inside all the way this is the good one I already compared these two the length of the thread is the same and when it came today uh, looking with me on it it came with this this crush washer which was obviously used and if you look on the details I'm basically able to push it there if I have that crash washer, it's so loose that it's wiggling there. Hopefully you can see the detail. So when it came, it was leaking. That's the problem. He has that leak coming off it. Let me use this socket. It's a 21 socket. Look at it. Look how loose it is. Still a loose, absolutely nothing. So that's what these people let him go with now look at it now I'm trying to torque it but obviously if I will use more power it will start spinning so when it came I just did this with a ratchet it basically I was able to pull it out that wiggle is crazy the level was slightly low but we think the reason I believe it was like 10 millimeters slow it was somewhere here and the max is 5 millimeter so today he decided let's do the service replace the oil and close it he left it on me what I will do with it he saw the other video when I was using on that Lexus GX470 there was a crack in that case so I was using that special epoxy aluminum epoxy which I will be not doing in this case I don't want to spend whole day there's also no crack it's just a strip thread you can feel it that beginning only at the very end there is some thread remaining so I will close the bottom plug we will fill it but not all the way we will leave it those five millimeters which regarding factor is allowed so I will watch the level put it somewhere slightly here so I don't have a presence of the oil right here and I will use my very favorite Toyota seal packing FIPG and when we, he will come back later we will see if this will be successful or not but I bet you it will so let's get to the work the drain plug with a new crush washer, that aluminum, going in. And what's the torque? 
I keep saying it's 39 because I got it somewhere, one of those factory manuals. It's either 37 newton meters or 39. So let's go and torque it correctly right now. Here I got that torque wrench you are familiar from different videos with. Let's go 39 newton meters, 39 or 37. <laughs> 39. I will put a 24 millimeter socket on it and let's go and torque it correctly. We don't strip this soft aluminum thread. The thread is in the soft aluminum case. So that was 39.3. I will just recheck it. Perfect. 39.3 and that's all what it needs. Now I'm going to bring my pump, my whole system, and put in one quart. It's a 1.1, so I will start with the one quart of full synthetic SAE GL5 75W90. On this generation on Taco, depending on which exactly model you have, it's between 1.1 and 1.5 quarts. So I'm setting it to zero here and I want to bring it only very slightly below because I don't want to have a presence of that oil on the thread. So zero, let's go. My meter is in the pints so I will put two pints and I will check with the mirror and with the light. Hopefully the level will be within those five millimeters which is allowed in the factory manual if you open it they say yep you can have it down it's either overflows which actually started look at it well what can I do I put one quart and it's very slight, slightly overflowing that's okay I will deal with it because the level is right there on that thread, I will use this nice syringe and pull just a tiny bit of that oil out. Boom. Yep. I have it basically. What did I take out? We have a measure here. Almost nothing zero less than 0 0.1 quart so let can go back in this and I know and I will check with mirror that the level will be right below that opening and with the new clean shop rag I will get rid of that oil that grease from that opening because I will be applying that FIPG. So everything is dry. When I put my finger, my glove, all the way touching the frets, it's completely dry. The level, let me try it. If I go a little bit in, oh yeah. And if I go down there, I'm touching that oil. You can see how shiny it is. So once again, this is all confirmed. I have enough oil there. And now I can do my little magic trick. I already tried that if I don't use that crush washer, which is there for two purposes. It's for sealing and not letting the oil out. Also for stopping that plug, that filler plug from loosening and falling out. So I will avoid using that crush washer we will not do that. This is dry and clean and I will install it together with that FIPG. That FIPG has a extreme resistance to the engine oil and gear oil and so on. In my opinion it's the best one at least with which I ever tried. So I will apply it on this. I will show you how and we will close it and carefully torque it. Obviously not to the 39 newton meters because we will be using only the very end, those last 
to threats. And I feel confident that it will hold. I also think this is the most reasonable and affordable solution to this problem. He will be having brand new oil in it for another 60,000 miles because he's not off-roading every single weekend. So that's roughly uh, that uh, interval for that gear oil in the transfer case. Also, I'm not gluing this plug in. I'm not putting epoxy and closing it forever. No, this will be openable in the future. I should probably write a little note when he goes, if he will ever go somewhere else for the oil change, to write them, don't touch it on it. So I will do this. I don't want to put more. There's no reason, absolutely there's no reason to put more. I don't want this to be squeezed in the transfer case. No way. I don't want to have it inside. So look at it by the hand. I have it here. And I'm, you can see I wiggle it in almost all the way. But at the very end it catches. I already tried it. This is different. It's not a 24. This is 21. I didn't mention probably it's an 18 millimeter fret. It's an 18. I just don't know what's the pitch of it. I couldn't compare it here at my shop if anything or measure it. So I don't know what's the pitch. Now, what you will say I should torque it with? That's a good question, isn't it? The normal torque, be it 39 or 37. Well, it's about oh, what is a good number? Well, what do you say? What shall I do? When we considering its barely last two threads, and I don't want to da damage them right now. So what shall we go down to? 12. I'm not worried about the plug falling off because when that FIPG dries, it sticks to it perfectly. It basically creates the plug and it will hold that bolt. It will never turn. Eleven. That was 12.1. Excellent. I'm starting uh, feeling happy here. Why I'm feeling happy? Because the customer will be happy, the subscriber. He, it took him one month to show up here, not because of my busy calendar, but because he works six to seven days a week. And that was his first opening today. So he was driving it all the time with uh, oil dripping on the ground from that plug which was barely holding there. I will continue, everything is dry, so I will continue with building up more of this FIPG around it. I don't care. This is always easily removable with a wire brush or whatever. Somebody 60,000 miles later will be willing to use. Hopefully it will be me. I will be taking care of this taco, doing his all changes and looking for a few other problems he has on it, like a power steering wine. I believe he has some leak in one of the lines. I need to check it for him today, but this is what I will do with it. It's nothing pretty, but guess what? Here, what's the objective of this repair? Replace the oil, there's brand new oil for another 60 grand, 60,000 miles, and keep it inside. No leak. So, you have only these two, and I'm telling you, this will work. I should be able to zoom off the tripod for you so it's not shaking the video like in the beginning. So, as I said, nothing pretty, but functional, and it can be opened anytime without much of extra work. And I will not 
bring the truck down and immediately go for the test drive. No, I will wait at least 30 minutes. I don't want that oil splashing from inside on what I just did. And I know that FIPG it hardens to a nice, slightly soft sur surface. So I know it will perfectly help holding that plug there. It will not fall off, right? It will be a problem. Also, I know it will resist that oil and it will stop it from coming out. You saw how the threads were damaged, stripped, but fortunately at the very back there were still two rounds of the thread left. So I was able to torque it a little bit and I know this will be good and he doesn't need to worry about it anymore. So thank you for watching. If you have better suggestions how to deal with it, share it below the video in the comments, please. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day, my friend.